If the icon does not appear, or the Bluetooth option to activate it, it means we don't have Bluetooth drivers installed in our operating system. It may also be that the Bluetooth icon appears, but it may have some error or problem. How about YouTube friends? Welcome to this new video and on this channel. Attitude blog good morning, good afternoon, good night and a hug from a distance. To all the followers of this channel. And what are you going to see this video for the first time? Thanks for the visit. Let's solve the controller. Bluetooth in our system. Operating for Windows 11 and Windows 10 many times when we format our computer or our laptop we install a new operating system many times we need drivers and network adapters many times we have to update this driver or reinstall it many times when we buy our agency computer it may also present some errors about the network adapter or bluetooth that said, we are going to see several solutions and methods that we can use depending on the problems that arise at the times that we need. The first thing we must verify is if here on the icon in this box in the taskbar here we have an OK box here it will reflect all the devices or drivers that we want to be presented at this moment so then we go to Windows Start and here are this settings icon will appear if we have Windows 11 we look in the settings dialog box we can also press Windows plus I so that it takes us directly to the settings window we look for this device or this device icon OK we go directly to this menu where it says Bluetooth and another Device. This will appear where it says add Bluetooth an another device, but we cannot add another device if we do not have the icon to activate Bluetooth so that it is recognized on another device. Since to make the connection through Bluetooth, the two devices you must activate Bluetooth so that it is recognizable if the Bluetooth icon or option does not appear. To activate it, it means that we do not have Bluetooth drivers installed in our operating system. It may also be that the Bluetooth icon appears, but there may be some error. Manage and this window will open. Let's maximize them and look for where it says device manager. We click, the Bluetooth icon should appear. If the Bluetooth icon does not appear, then we have to install them. If it doesn't appear here, we have to download from an official page to install them. If the Bluetooth icon appears on this computer or device manager interface, the icon of this color of yellow, then it means you have some problems. What we have to do is right click and update the driver. We click on update the driver. This is an example. Since I don't see any here, Bluetooth driver OK. But if it were to appear in this menu, we have to right click on the first option. Search driver automatically. And the system will look for the driver. That is for that person who has your computer that the icon appears, but it appears yellow. Also another solution can be right click and uninstall this driver OK. Uninstall the device. Once we uninstall some driver is to correct the problems. We must restart our computer. Once it is rebooting. It will correct all the problems, adapters and drivers, what the team needs since the system will detect some problems or driver failures. 
and will be updated and corrected some problems automatically. When you restart your computer OK, that is for the person who does see the icon, but it has to be corrected, the controller. But if no driver appears, no Bluetooth icon in this part anywhere, then the following method, or the third or fourth method, what we should do is go to our browser, preferred and let's download, controller searching according to our processor. In this case I am going to put download Bluetooth for Windows 10 or Windows 11. In this case my processor is Intel Inside or Intel Core i7. Bluetooth for Windows 10. Intel or it could be some processor other than Intel. Intel Inside OK I'm going to put it like this. I'm going to be leaving him this page in the video description. And here it will automatically take us to the Bluetooth driver for our Windows 10. Oh, Windows 11 OK, the most recent version will appear. Click where it says download OK. We are going to give you an example and here we must accept the terms. The download will be carried out OK. We are going to save. It will be automatically saved in the download folder. This would be the option to download the driver. Automatically we will wait for the download to finish we will see the next method or the last solution that we should know to be able to update some drivers and solve problems in our operating system. We should know this solution since it is more reliable and safer every time we want to solve any problems for that we have to go to the Windows settings of our operating system we look for the configuration menu or press Windows Plus and we look for the icon where it says update and security we wait a moment we see that everything is updated but the icon also appears where it says search for update we click on search for update since there may be some pending updates this would be the most reliable and safest way that we have to know and install some drivers are downloading this the preliminary version of the cumulative update but if we see at the bottom where it says optional quality update available download and install and see all the optional updates as we do not see any of blue driver drivers that we are looking for we click on this arrow and everything controlling that we do we need or what should we install to solve issues within this list or within these options we see several drivers in this case only what i need to solve is bluetooth driver that the icon does not appear anywhere to activate and add or connect a device in the penultimate option, Bluetooth driver appears. To download, we just have to click. The options will be enabled. Download and install OK. And here we click on download and install. If we see the driver has already been downloaded and it is installing automatically at the bottom like magic. We see that it has already appeared. The Bluetooth icon automatically. Or if we display the taskbar of this little box, we see that the Bluetooth icon was added automatically. If we go in the device manager box, we are looking for device administrator. We write verbatim as we see and hear the Bluetooth icon appears now. Then we have the option to activate for that. Then we press windows more and look for windows settings and we go to the device menu or on this device icon we click and the option to activate and deactivate appears we activate bluetooth and then we can add a new device to our device let's give you an example to add any wireless device via bluetooth we can touch any option in this case i'm going to connect my wireless headset via Bluetooth to watch videos and 
YouTube on this device through Windows or Operating System 4 that we have to keep this option activated and we must also activate Bluetooth on our Android or we can also activate Bluetooth on our hearing aid. We also activate Bluetooth on our smart TV or on any audio sound equipment. OK, then let's add a device. I click on the first option and automatically the device that is activated will be detected. Since it is recognizable, OK, I'm going to connect. I'm connecting my my hearing aid. I can now watch YouTube. I can watch a movie. Can I watch some video? And I will listen automatically. From my wireless headset. OK, if you already downloaded the driver from this page, we look for the folder where it was downloaded, the app or driver. This installer will appear. Only we right click and run it as administrator. Then that will depend on you. You can try with several options that I gave you in this video. You can leave in the comment box. If you have any questions or concerns, or if you have any problems, I hope this video helps you. Thank me by subscribing and giving it a like. Comment on social networks and WhatsApp number is in the description. So, friends, see you in the next video tutorials or video blogs.